Hey guys, it's Lydia. And Haley. Sorry. And it's like you. <laughs> and right now it is day two of Paris. We are here for a week. Go watch our first day if you haven't already. Right now, we woke up super late because we are extremely jet lagged. Like, it's getting to us. We walked like 20,000 steps yesterday, which honestly is more than we probably usually do on a regular day. So, we're a little extra tired and we just slept for one hour. Now, we did get to see the Eiffel Tower and everything. We thought we'd do a little recap so far of our experience being in Paris. When we were walking to the Eiffel Tower, it literally didn't feel real. No. And um, I was messaging a friend of mine, sent him a picture of the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. And he goes, that looks like the CN Tower. I'm like, what? And then someone else goes, oh, you're back in Paris again? I'm like, oh yeah, you're in Paris again? Like, They're like, no, that's the Statue of Liberty. We were in New York. <laughs> yeah. It is unreal. And then, well, Empire State. But still, yeah. One of our concerns were like, oh, are there going to be creepy people here? Here's the thing. The people here are very unhinged. We so only had two, like, really weird interactions. Like, <laughs> let's, was... let's reenact the one man. You be me. Ready? Okay, yeah. Just so, walking, walking, just walking. walking. Um, okay. Dodged. A little mini Eiffel Tower salesman. He's like, he's like, oh, sexy model trying to give us a, um, Eiffel Tower. We and don't want it. And like, then, no. and then we were walking and there were like three women in front of us. Yeah, that was the second time they called us sexy models. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, we're sexy models. Yeah, and models. then the ladies, the ladies in front of us, there was like, um, a mom and her kid. And then there was, uh, two other girls, two other girls in front of them. And they were just like. They just looked back and they were like, what? <laughs> I will say another thing. We both showered yesterday night, obviously, and my hair has never looked worse. I don't know what it did, but look how it dried. This is how it dried. I think it's just because we went to bed with damp I hair. sleep with wet hair every single night. Oh, well, I don't. It's supposed to rain today, but we're going to go to the shop at least to do some shopping. We're going to go to the Dior gallery today. We are going to part of Gallery Lafayette, but apparently there's a bunch of them. Basically trying to do stuff. It's supposed to rain today, so we're trying to do those things that are like okay to do in the rain. What's been your favorite part so far? Other than the Eiffel Tower. I mean, going up the Arc de Triomphe was really cool. Spiral staircase. If you get dizzy, yeah, you're gonna... <laughs> yeah, the spiral staircase was not ideal. And they really should have a slide to go down. I really would recommend if you guys are going, like go up. Like honestly, go up. Yeah, the it line moves so fast. We were like, the line was so crazy long. And I'm like, okay, let's stand here for 20 minutes, see how far we get. It wasn't even 20 minutes and we were buying our tickets. Yeah, and like, like when we say that the line was crazy long, we mean it was like halfway down the tunnel. Yeah. It was a really cool experience for sure. They let a lot of people up, like at a pretty decent pace. 100% mm -hmm. worth it, because it's only like, what was it, Canadian? Like 25. $22 or something? Something like that. Yeah. Also, we went to um, 10 MCL last night for a drink. That was the first time we ever got to see the Eiffel Tower sparkle, and we were on the top of a rooftop, on the balcony, watching the Eiffel Tower sparkle for the first time. So cool. I'm not afraid of heights. I don't know why I had that little like, weird fear of heights like they had on the balcony they had like these tiles down on like on the floor and it was just weird they didn't feel good under my feet and like there was other people touching me and i was just having a little freak out moment you can tell you were a little panicked i was trying not to because i was having a great time <laughs> watching the eiffel tower but i was just like internally just like freaking out we also saw a really cringy date there were people sitting behind us just at a table and oh, yeah. they, i don't think they talked the entire time and then they went and moved over by the eiffel tower to like be closer to the window and they were even farther apart and continued to not speak <gasps> but yeah we're gonna finish getting ready and i need to charge my phone so i will get back to you guys when i don't look like this we finished getting ready a long time later <laughs> We've been listening to Justin Bieber and I could use another delicious coffee. They are so much better here. Now, we are going to the Dior Gallery and going shopping. So I'm just wearing this mesh tube top with my leather pants. The last time when we were in New York and it was raining, these were like deflecting the rain for me all day. Haley's outfit is slaying. 
like I'm doing the Levi's, mm -hmm. the leather corset top, and the little lace cover up thing. I love it. And a little bow necklace. And I have a little bow in my hair. Best idea, bringing umbrellas, also best idea, taking the metro. So much better than New York. I don't know where we are, but it is beautiful. Currently waiting in the line, beside New York. Word of advice, buy the tickets before. Um, when we first got into Dior, the person in the front was putting everyone's umbrellas in bags and you get a free locker when you first go in. You can either look at this gallery wall when you first walk in or take the elevator to go upstairs to the museum where they have all of Christian Dior's original artwork, sketches, perfumes. Here is his tiny deck of cards he used to play with. And then they have a bunch of different themed rooms for his collections. If I remember correctly, I think this was a garden theme. And it's so cool seeing the artwork next to the dresses and just like seeing what they ended up actually looking like. This one was my favorite. The backdrop to each of the collection was just as impressive as the actual dresses itself. An example of the sketch turning into reality. Oh shoot, halfway through. As you move along the gallery, there's informative sites where they play videos and you can listen to kind of the history of it. This was the weirdest collection room. I didn't like this one. I didn't realize how big this gallery was actually gonna be. I feel like it took us roughly two hours to walk through the entire thing because each room had so much detail. You guys, showcase number 10, the Dior Ball is the most incredible thing. You walk through this magazine kind of hallway and then enter the ballroom. It literally is breathtaking. It's a masquerade theme. They have this crystal ring and you guys need to wait because it starts to sparkle and it was the most incredible thing ever. I assumed that's where it would end, but there are still more showcases after that. Look at this wallpaper. Like I was just in awe the entire time I was walking around here. After we completed the showcase, we decided to go to floor at number three, I believe, to go to the cafe and gift shop. They had pastries and toast, croissants and cake. And then in the gift shop, they actually didn't have any bags. It was actually only books. What the Dior cafe right now? Obviously, we had a photo shoot in the cafe, so go check out our Instagrams if you want to see how that turned out. But they had a guest book here at the exit, so me and Haley signed our name. Honestly, one of my favorite things throughout this trip was flipping through the guest books in all these different spots and just reading the notes. Everyone would leave everywhere and just hearing like where they're from, where they're visiting, like what the occasion was. It was just so cute. left the Dior gallery so now we are walking to the Champs Elysees. That was the best cafe latte I've had. I am obsessed with cafe lattes on this trip just like Haley is and her guac. <laughs> I found out I like cappuccinos. And coffee truly is the best thing ever it's here. It's literally better here. I, I don't, don't know have. I what it is. No I know and then I bought a book so I feel <laughs> bougie <laughs> carrying around a Dior bag. Now we are just gonna walk around and do some random shopping and maybe get a snack because we're both kind of hungry. Heckish if you will. Heckish. <laughs> How do you rank it on the real or faux leather? Oh genuine. Genuine <laughs> leather. <laughs> From there we decided to sightsee and walk to the shop. My god I've never seen anything so sparkly. <laughs> When we got to the shop, we were so excited to see a food court because we were both so hangry at this point, but we definitely wanted to do some browsing first. I like that one. I like that one. Ooh. They honestly had a bunch of different categories and price ranges in here, but we wanted food, so shocker. This is actually the last time we got Joe and the Juice. We browsed the food court, but Joe's never fails us. And we're gonna sit here. 
next we went to sephora and they had so many different brands than they do at home and they also had a self-checkout which i thought was really cool well Haley just fell in love <laughs> again and now we are at this cute little what's this spot called the caret Perry. and we're getting wine obviously and maybe no, no, no. dessert isn't it okay george <laughs> This is Carrie. Where are we? Cafe George. We're at Cafe George. <laughs> I don't know why it says that on the menu. However, we're getting wine and we just have a little bit of wine. It's a suitcase and it was so cute, but it's literally across the street. Yeah, you can see it sparkling from here. That also sparkles, by the way. That's it over there, past him. What are you looking at? Um, this is a special pokey. Every place we've gone to so far has brought some really cool snack plate, pretzels, and popcorn. They gave us a straw martini and we ordered chocolate cake. How was it? Good off the straw. Oh, messy. Good day. <laughs> he just brought over a placemat for us. Two yes. tablecloths. <laughs> Good. This is really good. Really sweet though. Not as good as last night, but it's pretty good. So we accidentally, I think, ordered a souffle. Souffle! The taste test. I've never had anything better than that in my life. That's amazing. The ice cream. What though? What? This is insane of me to say. But okay. <laughs> Shout out to Aaron at Sea Rocket because your creme all glaze is better. <laughs> Okay, we made it back to our spot, so I'm gonna do a little haul before we kind of just chill for the night. We have the Louvre tomorrow. We're gonna go to a bunch of other shops. We're gonna just kind of take it easy and try to wake up actually early. I'm sure I still have this. We all oh, stop. That's so cute. What did we even do today? We woke up this morning, went to Starbucks, came back quickly, got ready for the day, went straight to the Dior gallery, and I will say I definitely recommend buying tickets in advance. Also, the white line was like an hour, but we are stuck in between Scottish girls cracking jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they were hilarious. They were hilarious. They were, they literally, were literally just telling knock knock jokes. And it was it shouldn't have been funny, but it was hilarious. Yeah. The accents really <laughs> Yeah. And then a guy hacking darts behind us. Yeah, and he was just wearing a Supreme hat, if you can catch a vibe there. Yeah. And then the Dior Gallery was like the coolest thing ever. And then we got in for free because the card machine was down. So the girl was just like, just go in. We didn't have to pay anything. It's so much more than I thought it was going to be. We were in there for like oh a Oh my long God, time. it was gorgeous. Like by the time we got out, it was dark outside. And we had coffee at the cafe. cafe and it was amazing. It was and so good. Prime pictures. Prime pictures. And at the end, I went to the little spot and they gave me the super cute bag, but I just got a French. Turn around, show the star. The star. And they gave Haley one for free. <laughs> they gave me one. It was so cute. Then I ended up going to Sephora Shop Elise. Went through the mall there and I got a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. And then I'm we. I'm talking about the beeps. Oh yeah, my purse was beeping every single store we went into and out. And so there was this one guy who was like searching my bag. He was like, you need to find out what's beeping. And I was like, but am I good? He was yeah. like, fine. We were in Galerie Lafayette, like the department store. And he was like searching through the bag. And I'm like, yeah, like definitely search through the bag, but you're not going to find anything. Like, no, they're like pulling out my charger and like beat up lip glosses. <laughs> yeah, he took like stuff out of the bag and then like took the bag and put it over the metal things. So sir, this is our flight line. That's airport or airplane <laughs> line. Yeah. So then we went to Zara and everything here is self-checkout, which is really weird because I'm not used to that. And I got this stunning Zara trench coat, which I'm so excited to wear i think i might wear it tomorrow to the louvre obsessed with it and i got but then my bag ripped because it was raining oh yeah big L on that one tough there was a lady glaring at your bag in the metro station oh, i saw that like she was just standing there like was she the one to the left of me the one with the stupid purple glasses yeah yeah i saw that they're only stupid because she's weird. i got zara gardenia and it smells just like Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, like the blue. From there, we went and stopped at a pastry shop. 
and Haley got. Can I show them? Yeah. A chocolate croissant. Panel chocolat. And then we went to the Louis Vuitton giant suitcase. Oh my it was lighting up and we went to a shop literally right across from it so we were in there and then the Louis Vuitton suitcase started to sparkle this time and we were like what the hell like this is the best it's not real life and we got one we tried to order just like a chocolate cake with ice cream and we ended up getting a souffle, <laughs> a souffle. <laughs> or a lava cake I don't know the difference between the two was but something of the sort definitely the weight of my heart is chocolate cake with ice cream and an espresso martini. They call it espresso martini here, even though they call actual espresso espresso. Yeah, it's weird. We took the metro station back, which is also so much easier to navigate than New York. Like it's insane, the difference between the navigation. There's just so many more signs. It's so much more clear. It's so easy. What is the app called? Uh, it's called City Mapper. Download this if you're going anywhere in Europe, honestly. Here, I'll pull it up. The green one is City Mapper, and it works in apparently literally any city in the world, or well, almost. And also, all these lids pop off like this. And it's really yeah, weird. So weird. And this one is a currency converter, which is really convenient to have, and you just like whip it out like a oh, we're having girl dinner. We're having girl dinner right now, so we're gonna raid the fridge and drink wine and eat croissants and macarons. So that's our plan for the rest of the night. All right, so guys. What is this? I think I'm gonna like that one. For wine time, here we are. I ended up actually needing my corkscrew here. <laughs> Magic, I'm just watching. <laughs> Your random photos in Gallery Lafayette is so funny. Subscribe to my channel to see tomorrow's day at the Louvre and whatever else we end up doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!